I want to bring up this Packers situation here. Maybe for some people, this doesn't move the needle. It's just more of the same for me. Aaron Rodgers felt like he had the most leverage I think maybe an NFL player has ever had over an organization. And all he has to show for it is the people he didn't like are extended and Devontae Adams is gone. I I understand Rodgers has been paid huge money, but he tried to continually tell us it's not about the money, it's not about the money. And everything that keeps happening in Green Bay, Donnie, let's call it what it is, Bradley Beal-esque. This is where the top dollar is. This is where it's convenient. Hopefully I'm good enough to figure it out. And we'll go from there. Because the moves that take place at times in Green Bay don't seem like Rodgers is really all that interested in using any of that leverage that he had drummed up. And it doesn't make sense. If we want to talk about like bizarro world off seasons, it was clearly Green Bay. Because when we were setting up last year, what was the, I guess, the guiding light for that season? One last ride, me and Devontae. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, but we got this year and let's see if it happens. And it didn't happen. So you said going into the off season, all that turmoil where Aaron Rodgers, quote unquote, wrote a contract or an extension that basically said, I get to call the shots at the end of the year if I want to leave. He said, oh, man. So you know what that means? You better sign everybody. The Tom Brady clause in, in for Tampa Bay, which, quite frankly, probably isn't written down on paper, but it's understood. You'll pay for who I want, when I want, and how many players I need on offense, or I'll just step away. That's fine, Tom. What do you need? I'm going to win a Super Bowl? Yeah, bring every single player back on this team, whether or not it's a great move or not, because I'm going to be here for maybe one, two, or three years more. Worked out down there pretty well. So Aaron Rodgers, you figured in the offseason, hey, man, what makes me go on offense? Got a solid offensive line, got a good young head coach, and I have one of the best wide receivers in the game that no matter if any play breaks down, he's wide open and he makes me look good. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold out a little bit longer and really give it to the organization. I'm not coming back here. You don't sign my guy, Devontae Adams. That's the way it started to set up, and everybody was going to be happy with that and say, okay, look at this. They're going to mend fences, get back on the field, but even though Aaron Rodgers doesn't like the GM, he has enough influence in that organization to get his guy paid and also get himself paid. And then it turns out that Devontae Adams is shipped off to the Las Vegas Raiders, and then Aaron Rodgers, oh, man, he's going to explode by this. And he's doing interviews going, yeah, you know what? Devontae's my guy. I wanted to get out of town. It's no big deal. I got no wide receivers here. I got money and a GM I hate. I can't wait to be a 40-year-old quarterback in Green Bay. What are we talking about, Kevin? Like, this is supposed to be mm -hmm. the time of Aaron Rodgers' career. Like, even if he goes to the Packers, I know I'm worth $50 million. Give me 35. Give me Devontae Adams back. Sign me a tight end. Give me another wide receiver. I got two years left. Let's really press the max and see if we can win a Super Bowl. And they're the yeah. complete opposite.